Welcome to the Weird News, I'm Sam Proof. A New Jersey hairstylist is the big winner who took home a beagle named Daniel. Named so after he miraculously survived the lion's den. By which I mean the gas chamber! In Alabama, no less. Daniel had been sentenced to be put down with other strays, but when the chamber doors opened, he was alive! What? Vinnie Grasso, the shelter's director, said Daniel showed up in one of the shelter's drop boxes and- Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, drop boxes? So dogs are like library books or like blockbuster rentals now? What? Eleventh <laughs> Hour Rescue President Linda Schiller said that out of the 100 or so applications from all over the world, about half of those said they were not interested in taking home any dogs other than Daniel. So this is what I'm thinking, right? We put together, like, a doggy Kickstarter, right, for doggy plastic surgeries, and we make thousands of new Jesus dogs. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> Speaking of animal scientists, have you heard about birds tweeting incorrect grammar? Well, scientists in Japan, of course, have figured out that the Bengal finch has evolved grammatical rules. <laughs> grammatical rule. Oh, rules, not rule. Got it. Songbirds have a spontaneous ability to process syntactic structures in their songs, says Kyoto University's Kentaro Abe. Some of those may have actually been real words. The birds were played unfamiliar songs until they stopped overreacting, and then four jumbled versions were played back to the birds. 90% of the birds reacted to only one of the jumbles that had grammatical falsities. This is great news, because now I can, like, Create a tape for that magpie that's always calling at my window at 5 a.m. that says, Hey bird, I own a cat! And instead of a third story this week, I want to invite you, yes you, to be a part of the Weird News broadcast. <coughs> Think you found a cool weird news story? Shoot a 40 to 90 second piece telling me about it. Make it funny. HD is best, but not necessary. Good lighting, better than what I do. And really good sound is important and send it to samproof at gmail.com. If you don't feel like making a video, you can Facebook it to me or tweet me a link to a cool story. And until next time, I'm Sam Proof. You're not. Oh, and check out the weird news on Crave Online. Follow the link below for more information on the Daniel story. <coughs> Boom! That's how it's done. That's one take, right? You don't have to edit this at all in junk, right? So it'll seem seamless.